this time with more happy news than my previous video about the death of MMA fighter Sam Vasquez. Uh, some of you may have heard about it, some of you may have not about, heard about it, but uh, the New Year's Eve show, which is going to be put on by a bunch, bunch of different groups, uh, K1's involved, M1's involved, um, I think Deep is involved now, Pancrase is involved, I mean basically all of the kind of, I don't want to use the word tier 2, but tier 2, well okay, I'm not going to use the word tier 2 because it's, nah, it's not really true, but all the big non-American um, with the exception of Cage Rage, organizations are putting on a show. It's gonna be a, it's gonna be a really good show. I mean, outside of the UFC and the old Pride shows, you got nothing near this kind of quality we're talking about here. This is a huge, huge show. I mean, it, it's really it's it's a little bit of a shame that some of these names you guys don't know. Uh, some of the casual fans are not aware of some of these names because they haven't fought in the UFC, and uh, in some cases they haven't fought in the states, but. This is, really, this card is great. I'm, I'm gonna run down what's known, I'm gonna run down the rumors, and uh, I don't you can look them up, judge for yourself, and uh, really, it's, it's freaking awesome. All right, first up, we have Jay-Z Cavalcanti versus um, Shinya Aoki. If you do not know who these two are, of course, Aoki is, uh, he go-go'd Hellboy Hansen. He's uh, probably the best grappler in the lower weight classes in, MMA. I mean, this man is a freaking submission god. He is a phenomenal, phenomenal grappler. Stand-up has gotten better. It is not very good, but it's still not non-existent. But, man, this is a great fight. He's fighting uh, Jay-Z, the recent K-1 winner, at 155 pounds. Um, uh, for those of you who don't know Jay-Z, uh, look him up. <laughs> um, he's an American top team prospect. Uh, he's maybe the best fighter that camp has outside of the UFC, uh, with the possible exception of Dennis Kang and maybe Junior Silva. That's Antonio Silva. But uh, still, great fighter, great hands, great good wrestler. Uh, he's very competent on the ground. He's coming off, of course, big wins over Shaolin Hibero, and he's coming off of the win over Amadita, who's also on this card. I'll get to him in a sec. Actually, for that matter, there's a rumor that Shaolin will be, but that's not confirmed yet. But moving on, uh, this is a very good fight. I mean, these two guys are both top guys outside of the UFC and in the world period because um, UFC fans have to realize something that although the UFC is the best promotion around, and it is, it has the most top-ranked fighters, it has the best production quality, it has, it, it's the mecca right now of MMA, but it's not for 155 pounds. 155 pounds is still very limited. I mean, these guys like Aoki and Jay-Z would, uh, should, I mean, we don't know because some of them, but a lot of the UFC lightweights are improving, guys like Roger Ware to Clay Guida, we don't quite know where they stand. That's my point. Uh, they don't have the top guys. Okay, moving on though, we have Hayato Max Sakurai versus Hiyoko Hasegawa. I think I said that right. Not great with Japanese names. Um, Hasegawa is, of course, a big, is a decently big name out of the Deep organization. Uh, Sakurai uh, probably at one time was the number two lightweight in the world. I don't know if you can class him as lightweight anymore because, I mean, he says he's not fighting 155 pounds. It, I, I haven't set, heard, heard anywhere where this says what this weight is, but I can't imagine Hasegawa making 155 pounds. And Sakurai doesn't want to, so it'll probably be a little higher up. Maybe a welterweight match, perhaps, somewhere in the vicinity, 170-something, 180 maybe even. We'll see. 160 something would be another possibility. Um, basically what we're looking at here is um, Sakura should take this one. This is a little unbalanced in comparison to the other matches on this card, which are phenomenal. But this this one's a little down. It has Sakura in it, which is good. Hasegawa was a quality fighter, but still, I wish they would have put something a little better together for Hayato Sakura. I, I was really, really hyped when they were t talking about possibly matching him up against Shinya Aoki. That would have been huge. Um, it's a good fight though. It's a very solid fight. Sakura should take it. Uh, next up, we have Gilbert Melendez versus Mitsuhiro Ishida. Big match. I mean, these, this is this is phenomenal. I mean, Ishida, great wrestler. Melendez is very all round. Both of these guys have good cardio. I mean, this will be a war. This is possibly a fight. This has some of the makings of a possible fight of the year candidate. You know what I mean? Because we have two very high march guys. We have two guys I don't see the, either steamrolling each other. But, oh, it's a, it's, it's, it's a very exciting fight. Uh, next we have uh, Tetsuya Kawajiri versus Andre Dida, Ahmad. 
Uh, Adidas is a very good fighter out of Brazil, uh, finalist in the K1 tournament, losing to Jay-Z Calvacanti. He's fighting against Kawajiri, who had great fights with Gilbert Melendez, had Ifagomi. Um, it's, it's honestly a very, very exciting fight as well. This one also is a very good one because both of these guys have great cardio. Uh, Kawajiri hits really, really hard. He's a really good wrestler. Dita's got some some pretty good striking. He's, his ground game's coming along. It's 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 a good fight. <laughs> it's just a really exciting card, like I said. Next, we have Kazuo Masaki, Mr. Impossible to Finish, winner over Dan Henderson, finalist in the Pride Welterweight Tournament. Uh, he's fighting Yoshiro Akayama coming off of a, well actually Masaki won the, the Walter Reed tournament but he did, he did get eliminated and then uh, came back when someone got hurt. I'm not going to go through that. But he's fighting Yoshihiro Akayama who's coming off of a big knockout of Dennis Kang. This is a, this is another great fight. Uh, I mean you got a, a Masaki is a phenomenal fighter. Very hard to finish. Uh, fought guys like Nate Marquardt, of course, has a win over Dan Henderson, has a win over Dennis Kang. Akayama's beaten Dennis Kang. If you listen to uh, Milton Hart from Stick of Akayama's The Second Coming of Jesus, I'm not going to argue that. Well, he's not the second coming of Jesus, but you know what I mean. But he's a phenomenal judica. Uh, he's, got good, he's got good striking, actually. I mean, that's going on. Plus, we got Fedor fighting on the card. Uh, the original rumor was supposedly was confirmed he was fighting Hung Man Choi. Not a good fight, but still. Fedor is Fedor. But now the rumor is he's going to be fighting Hideoko Yoshida, who's a gold medalist judoka. I mean, he's a, he's a legend in Japan. I mean, that's that's a pretty good fight. I mean, it's still not what I want to see Fedor fighting, but it's a good fight all around. I mean, considering the circumstances, a lot of heavyweights outside of the UFC, that there's really just kind of Josh Barnett, and who's really the only one I'm really interested in seeing Fedor fight that they don't have contract on. Um, this, is, this is an okay fight. We also have his uh, Red Devil teammate, Alexander Emelianenko, his brother, of course, and Roman Zensoff fighting on the card. Uh, no word on the opponents other than both are rumored to be fighting Gilbert Devel, which would be a pretty good one because, I mean, Gilbert Devel is a phenomenal Dutch kickboxer. He's a very dirty, dirty fighter, but still, it's a good fight. Um, both of those guys like to stand and bang. So does Gilbert. I mean, Gilbert's big problem is when he gets taken down. When, when he's on his feet, he's pretty damn freaking good. Went over a guy like Czech Congo, fought many, many times in pride. That's a good, it's a good fight, uh, if they can put that together. Uh, he already fought Zensov, so I would prefer to see him fight Alex. Also, of course, one of my personal favorites, Joaquin Hellboy Hansen, free from the UFC finally, and he'll be fighting on this card. No word on the opponent yet, but man, Hellboy will put on a show against anyone he fights, I swear, anyone. Um, hopefully he comes in shape, a little bit of concerns about him, he's apparently been doing some karate and kickboxing and boxing, grappling tournaments, but uh, it's not MMA, we'll see how he is. Um, no idea who they could put him up against, I have, really haven't even heard any rumors about that. Ricardo Arona is going to be on, or uh, pardon me, Ricardo Arona is going to be on the card, there's some rumors circulating about who his opponent would be, Arona of course coming off, getting knocked out by Soko Ju, but still. A phenomenal grappler. Uh, he gets on top of you. Uh, you're done, pretty much. Uh, uh, there's again. There's no rumors about who he's fighting. Although there was rumors he's going to fight Fedor, and they haven't quite died. But at the same time, Arona said he's not fighting Fedor, so it's a tough call. I'm trying to think of who I'd even like to see him fight. I, that's kind of the problem. Is I don't know if there's anyone I want to see Arona fight because of the fact that the 205 division in the UFC is so stacked. And the only guy would be Antonio Rogério Nogueira and their teammates. They probably wouldn't fight. They're both a Brazilian top team. Still, it's it's a pipe dream, I guess. Uh, finally, the the only other confirmed fighter is uh, Luis Azaredo. Uh, Azaredo is a long long time lightweight and pride Brazilian. Uh, if I recall correctly. I should have looked this up, but I believe he's shoot box. I've seen him fight a couple times. He fought Gomi. He's fought. I think he fought Gomi. I'd have to look up his fight finder. I really should have done that before. Sorry. Sorry. It's, I was a little hyper when I did this. But still, I mean, seriously, this card is is freaking. I mean, some of the matchups may not be so great. Like, whoever they put Fedor up against is not a great fight. Whoever they put up against Hanson is likely not going to be a great fight. But if. Or Arona. But if they do it right and they set up a, a super fight either with Alex or Zensov against a top-ranked heavyweight. That's pretty freaking awesome. If they bring in someone to fight Azaredo, Azaredo's exciting if you can give him a, a proper opponent. But man, man, this card is great. 
post what you think about the card. Do some research if you don't know the fighters, man. This it's outside of the UFC. It's definitely the best card gonna be around, unless it completely falls on its ass. But this is a great card. Check it out.